show that there's no tickets left <laughs> like i couldn't even get tickets really uh, scalpers I, I was i had four laptops open um and you put in a, a virtual waiting list yeah and uh, it was random even if you were on it for ages it was mm. random where you got picked and i had a 45 minute wait and by the time i got to 45 minutes there was nothing left oh man it's uh, not cool not cool no because i was loads of plans for videos because I was going to get in there, get loads of footage and then get it on the channel. I had loads of ideas for things to do, like panels. Mm. I could have recorded panels. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, they will. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Is it, um, there's no chance of getting scalp, scalped tickets. Just, no, they, they, it's, it's like, like concert tickets sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. They, they make sure that it's like assigned to a person. So yeah. you can't, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's rubbish. It is really you rubbish. should have spoken about that, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I suppose we could take it from here. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, we could take it from the fact that we couldn't get tickets. Yeah, we tried to both tried to get tickets. Um, yeah, do you want yeah. to start again? Start from scratch. I mean, well, <laughs> no. Let's just. I think we could go straight into it. I'm sure I can find a cut off point somewhere that we can go in. Okay. Um, okay it's cool. a long and long time ago. Uh, with me, Adam and Martin. Hi guys. I'm back in my boring room. Martin's still in the Star Wars room. We were in last yeah. week. <laughs> he has he ha, he does have star wars figures now so i he do can have put some them star wars figures so i just need to figure out where they're gonna go yeah yeah there's lots of space around me i could put a nail in the wall or something and just hang them there in the blister cases of course not not out of no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um as we were just briefly talking about we're talking about the uh the events and conventions this week um Martin's been quite fortunate enough to go to a fair few of them. Uh, unfortunately, as we've just said, neither of us are able to get tickets for the the London one next year. Was it London or Birmingham? No, it was London. It, it was, it was uh, London. the third time cele oh. celebrations been in London, and yeah. uh, I, I said to Adam, I said, "Oh, this you've got to come." And uh, Adam's like, "Well, I might be able to make it down for one day. I've never." been to a convention before no. so there I, there I was a week up was about a month ago now with four laptops open and an ipad you know yeah. me and my wife just like refresh 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 <laughs> and we put <laughs> we were putting a queue and everything was sold out um oh. by the time we'd got on there so it Gutting. really sucks yeah, that I won't yeah. Be going yeah have you have, has it always been like that have you had to always get like well has it always well, been a struggle to get in and get them out of there well, I've I've been to Celebration Europe in Germany in 2013 and Celebration mm -hmm. London in 2016, and yeah. the the tickets didn't seem to go very quickly at all back then. Um, I was lucky enough to get um, the Jedi Master tickets for both of those events. Okay, and you might have to explain what. So I'm assuming there's like rankings to the ticket, yeah, and where you can go with them. Is that right? Yeah, the, I mean. It, that's right. Yeah, the Jedi Master tickets basically mean you can you get to assign seating for all the panels, so okay. you don't have to you know queue up and just fit, fingers crossed, hopefully get the panels. Um, and there's a few other perks to it as well. But um, when I ordered the tickets, I mean one one of them, I ordered them a day late, I think, and I still managed to get those tickets. So yeah. I think that kind of shows the the um the need for tickets now for star wars and, and yeah. all of the content that's coming out people just want want to be at these events and yeah. i can't blame them because they're awesome no, no they are yeah well it's, it, they look at you know you've sent me a hell of a lot of pictures and whatnot um so there's 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 two events is there or three how, how does it work because there's star wars weekend and star wars uh, celebration well they're two different things. i um yeah, Star Wars Celebration was something that started in 1999, ready for the release of Episode One, mm -hmm. uh, Phantom Menace. And uh, they put a fan event together, and um, it was just called Star Wars Celebration. And uh, that started it all off, really. And, yeah. uh, you know, they've had celebrations every 
two to three years, depending on pandemics, etc. Um, where you know all the fans gather and they basically are there to look at what's coming up in the future and celebrate what's happened in the past. Okay. Um, yeah. And the, the Star Wars weekends that I attended, they were there at um, Hollywood Studios in Disney World, and I was right. so lucky um, that I went in 2011. And I had no idea that Star Wars Weekends was on while I was there. A massive Star Wars fan, I had no yeah, idea. Yeah. <laughs> and I turned up, I turned up one day, and there was all these pamphlets um, or brochures saying Star Wars Weekends. So, yeah. as soon as I found out that, um, my wife and I would go to Disney um, every year. And uh, well, while it was going, we always made sure we went when Star Wars Weekends oh, was right. on. Right. Okay. And that was um, a three-day event: Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they did it for four weeks. Um, yeah. And you had different guests. Um, every weekend and different panels and, and things like that and uh, massive merch tents and buildings that you can go in and you know I love a bit of merch yeah, yeah. <laughs> well I, I did I was looking through all of the photos and you do seem to have a different Star Wars t-shirt on in pretty much all of them you know you, <laughs> as you have now you've got your Star Wars Celebration Europe is that uh, is that from the Germany event or London. This is this is my Germany one. It's yeah. my favourite one. Um, yeah. It's a great. I love this t-shirt. I, 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 it's very honoured because I really wear it because you know what t-shirts are like. You yeah, you probably get ten washes out of them and <laughs> they start to fade. Yeah, so you try to <laughs> try to keep that one well unused, yeah. more or less. That's right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. So, how many have you been to total? Uh, well, I went to four Star Wars weekends, 2011 to 2014, and I went to the two celebrations, which was 2013 and 2016. Okay. Um, I, I really wanted to go to one of the American celebrations, but I wasn't able to, A, get tickets, and B, mm. have time off to, to go out there and, and attend one of those. But I would like to go yeah. to perhaps the one of the ones when they have it in Anaheim so that I can tie it in with a – trip to disney world disney, uh, disneyland yeah. sorry over there yeah yeah so yeah speaking of you've got the the london event next year but i i guess people are trying to get tickets from all over the world yes i, I guess um i think it's more of a global event now than perhaps it was in the back in the day um and also i think with the pandemic having happened, I think a lot of people in Europe and Britain are starved for something like this because we haven't had one in Europe since 2016. So what's that going to be? It's going to be seven years yeah. since yeah. the last time. And uh, hardly anyone can really afford just to go over to America, can mm. they, and just attend no, one there. Right. So yeah. I think that's probably I think that's probably tied into why it's sold out so quickly. Yeah, I bet. Um, but it, it's also the first time that they've done a four-day Star Wars celebration in Europe. They're usually three day events. Okay. Yeah. So Have they always uh, been three that, days. That in right? itself. Well, in the US, they were always four days, but in Europe, they've always just been three days. Right. Um, but I guess demand has meant they've added an extra day. Um, also, it's Easter weekend next year as well, which means obviously more people are going to have time off. So mm. that's another reason that it's probably sold out so quickly. So I don't want to dwell on it, but I'm just really disappointed because <laughs> yeah, it'll I'll be bet. the first one I've missed. Absolutely. Gutted, yeah. 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 yeah um so go on and what's what sort of the difference what do you find what do you get from celebration and what do you get from the weekend is it is there um, much of a difference do you know do you think yeah there's there's quite a big difference um star wars celebration is just well, there's lots of similarities and there's lots of differences i mean both events have fans coming from all over the world slash country all getting together everybody's in a great mood mm. everybody wants to talk star wars people you've never met in your life are your best friends within 10 <laughs> minutes um there's lots of queuing in both of them um and in the queue you basically sit there or stand there and you're chatting to people you've never seen and met before yeah. and you're you're just talking star but wars it's, but and it's absolutely fine it's not yeah it's not like it's not on, why is this queue not moving you're, no. you're okay with it no um well i mean back in the day yes uh, not so much nowadays i think because they do virtual panels now uh, virtual oh, queues okay. for panels so there's a lot of disappointment but um the ones oh. i certainly went to there were you you would expect weekends anyway um you'd queue and i mean there was a in star wars weekends they had um a big either tents or buildings that they set aside for merchandise and obviously they'd only let a certain number of people through at a time mm. and it'd be 80 90 degrees in the sometimes higher in the um, florida sun yeah and you'd be in queues with hundreds of people 
but um, the Disney cast members would be there doing quizzes in the queue. And I, I just remember like shouting out answers and winning prizes constantly in the <laughs> queue for, you know, really obscure questions that they're yeah. answering uh, and asking. And, um, you know, they'd make it, they make it fun, even though you're just, you're just in the queue yeah, yeah. getting really hot and, and bothered. Um, but the moment you walk in and you see all that merch and the air con hits in, it's absolutely fantastic. Amazing, yeah. um, so how much, yeah, mer- it's, it's how awesome. Much, how much merch have you picked up? Like, Star Wars That's, celebration. Sorry. I was going to say we spoke about the um, the the autograph last week of Dave Filoni was that at one of the events. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that was one of the perks from having the Jedi Master tickets. Is I got to um, meet and get an autograph from Dave Filoni, and um, we also had a special appearance by Ben Burke came in who does all the sound for Star Wars, oh, okay. and he and he sat with us all for an hour hour and we could just fire questions at him um i didn't unfortunately but uh Mm. yeah that was just amazing ben burt was in the same room just talking about the original trilogy and how he found the sounds to create the lightsabers and the the blasters and just obscure creatures it it was absolutely brilliant yeah Um, i can imagine yeah but but you know there's so much uh, if we want to talk celebration you walk into celebration um you, you get in a queue um, and you, the first thing you probably do is go into the the merchandise halls, and we're talking just stall after stall after stall of just Star Wars merch, yeah. everything from T-shirts to lightsabers to figures to artwork to anything you can possibly imagine. And you, you really need to set yourself a limit when you go in because <laughs> if you're like me, you you just walk in. I mean, could spend every. We always book a hotel. Away. Yeah. Absolutely, and we always book a hotel close by to the to the um, convention hall because I know that I'm going to have bags of stuff that <laughs> I'm going to have within ten around. minutes of being there. <laughs> I don't want to be carried, so we have to snip, nip back to the hotel to pop it back into our rooms. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's such good fun, um, and then you've got the panels. So you've got you usually have a in production panel where they they sort of talking about the latest movies and um, the latest. I suppose now TV shows is probably yeah. more. Um, prevalent which which is great because they have all the stars come out and they give you a few hints and clues about what's happening in it and mm. uh you, you might get a trailer which is you, yeah. know, you, you know you're the first to see this brand new trailer and, and of course everyone else is going to see it on the internet 10 minutes later yeah but there's yeah. something special about being the first person in being that room in that but you you're seeing you it like see it. the best quality possible as well those ones oh, on yes. the internet yeah know, yeah <laughs> there's somebody filming yeah, yeah. in the audience so yeah, absolutely. I mean, we we uh, in Star Wars uh, London Celebration London, we saw um, a Rogue One panel, and it hadn't come out yet. And the entire cast of Rogue One came out, and oh, wow. Gwendolyn Christie, for, who played Captain Phasma um, in uh, the, the sequel trilogy, she came. Mm-hmm. She was she was sort of the host of the panel, yeah. and uh, they had all of the every single actor came out, and then um, Ben Mendelsohn came out as dressed as um director krennic oh. and with with some um uh well they not dark troopers what are they called uh, death troopers um behind him and he walked awesome. up on the stage and and no one was expecting it and no. that's the sort of surprise you get when um you know you go to these panels and then not only that they released a teaser trailer at the end of the panel and to this day they've never released this teaser trailer on the internet um, as far as I'm aware, I, I've oh, never wow. seen it again. So. Yeah. And, it, and it was the first glimpse of Darth Vader. So Ooh. everyone but in that room, Rogue One, Rogue yeah, One, Darth Vader, Rogue yeah. One, and and it was a it was a scene of Darth Vader that never made it into the final cut either. Oh. Um, so so you know, I was actually privy to seeing this absolutely awesome uh, scene of well, he didn't speak or anything. You just saw the back of him, but even still, it, it was, was Darth enough. Vader. Yeah, it was, a, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Um, it was brilliant um so yeah you've got the panels you've you've got the autograph halls you've got the tattoo halls so you can go and get a star wars tattoo oh, while you're there if you want yeah. to um you've got the have you, the have you indulged pool. you haven't have you no I, I i'm too i'm too afraid of needles to get a, a <laughs> tattoo although i'm slightly tempted to get a small imperial cog um but i, I don't yeah. know i think i'm getting too old for that, that sort of business no, now. Yeah, never too um <laughs> um so, so yeah, you've got the tattoo halls and then you've got the art halls and it's basically just artwork that people have created themselves, yeah. you know, not really officially Lucasfilm stuff. And okay. uh, 
then you've got the droid builders and then you've got the um the garrison where the um the 501st garrisons you know where everyone dresses up as stormtroopers mm. and then you've got the rebel rebel uh, rebel legion all, mm. the, all the cosplayers who dress up as as rebels or um aliens and i, I mean it's just absolutely incredible and yeah. um I mean, I could go on and on. And there's so many more things they put in. Um, when I was at um, Star Wars Celebration London, they had a VR hut there or area. And it was the first time I've ever heard of VR. And I was like, oh, you know, just, this this will be a gimmick or something. And I got led into this room and I got the HTC Vive put over my head. And I, I, I mean... I put it on. I was light. I had a lightsaber. I was deflecting mm-hmm. blasters from stormtroopers. <laughs> it felt like the reverb in my hand was the blasters were hitting the lightsaber. Yeah. Um, I came out of the room after I'd finished, and I did something really uncharacteristic of me um, and very un-English. Is I got out of the room and I ran up the hallway going, "Ah, ah, that was brilliant. That was brilliant." <laughs> I, to this day, to this day, I've still never ever had anything like that blow me away as, yeah. as that that um that um vr did i mean it's absolutely incredible if anyone can do the the vr in star wars it's absolutely brilliant Um, it's another level and i'm sure since 2016 it's only got better yeah i imagine they've brought more out and yeah Yeah. so much more you can do and then with star wars weekends you've got a completely different kind of atmosphere because it's really hot. You feel like you're on holiday. Mm. Most of it takes place outside. Um, there's a lot more character meet and greets. Um, so you've got all of the Disney cast members dressed as the characters mm-hmm. and you can, you get pictures with them. You do have so you're, some you're small... Talking, pan- when you say Disney cast members, you're talking like Mickey Mouse and everything, are you? Like they're uh, all yeah, dressed you, you've in... Got- yeah, you've, Star Wars you've got Man. Jedi Mickey. Yeah. Yeah, you've got Jedi Mickey and Princess Leia Mini, but you also mm. have Boba Fett, Darth oh, Vader, people, yeah. Darth Maul, uh, Asajj Ventress. You know, you've got you've got everybody dressed as Star the Wars characters as well. Mm. Um, and they're, they're properly good costumes as well. Really, really like to the movie point quality, costumes. Yeah. Um, yeah, movie quality. Thank you. Yeah. So, so you have all of that. You, you do have some smaller panels, but they, they kind of just concentrated on rebels or the clone wars because um you know that was what was going on at the time yeah. i was there there was no movies coming out disney hadn't actually bought star wars yet no. um but yeah i think after 2015 or 14 which was the last one i went to disney bought star wars and then there was no more star wars weekend so they're not doing them anymore but oh, right. they're, they're absolutely great absolutely mm. great so what yeah. what was it what was going on? Because earlier in the year you actually went you went to Galaxy's Edge, didn't you? Um, so I was going to ask what was going on there because there was uh, one part. Of, well, we put a video out, in fact, of your trip to Galaxy's Edge earlier this year. Uh, and part of that, there were thousands of people with lightsabers. Is that is that anything to do with it, or is that just yeah. what happens at Galaxy's Edge? <laughs> yeah, well, yes, it does. It, it's something that happens. I, I think it's. I don't quote me on this but i think it's once a month there's a lightsaber meetup right but when i was there it just so happened to be may the 4th and <laughs> of course may the 4th being the star wars yeah. unofficial star wars day every everybody just turned out and yeah. there must have been a thousand thousands. maybe more people yeah yeah with lightsabers and there was people there who um we found out did uh jedi dueling lessons you know they actually have a college uh, not colleges they have um, places where people can learn to fight with a lightsaber and they were there and they were actually putting on shows of how you know proper prequel style type lightsaber duels yeah. which was absolutely brilliant to watch so yeah. me and me and my wife just settled in on this balcony yeah and we just sit, sat there for two hours and we just watched all of this and it then it's incredible yeah oh it was, it was Madness, absolutely i wasn't it expecting properly, it yeah I wasn't expecting it at all. And no. and then when it got dark, there I was sat over a balcony looking over the Millennium <laughs> Falcon and all of the lights had come up. There was they have these speakers so it sounds like TIE fighters are flying over your head. Oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, this that thousands of people just ignited their lightsabers. And in <laughs> the dark, you just saw all these lightsabers light up. Yeah. And 
holding them aloft in the air. I I mean, I don't know if we'll probably put some pictures up, but well, yeah, yeah the video it was just. I think I included it in the video, so you know. Oh, did, oh okay. Go back and watch that. I'll put a little okay link yeah, in the corner. Um, so it was absolutely incredible. It, that yeah. that was really good, but that's not that's not really an event, but it was no. just something that happened, you know, or happens chance, on a right. semi regular basis. Yeah, yeah. No, that's um, awesome. So, so, so that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the other thing then, uh, <laughs> you you you've been a part of one of the panels, haven't you? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you've got a little yeah. story to tell, uh, which you told yeah. me, which. Which shall we say look slightly embarrassing? It's slightly embarrassing, yeah. Well, <laughs> you, you got yes. to sell it, haven't you? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, there I was walking through Hollywood Studios. I think this was 2011, um, and um, I spotted in the corner of my eye James Arnold Taylor, who obviously does the voice of Obi Wan Kenobi in the Clone Wars, yeah. and um, he was interviewing people. So I sort of you know being english i hung back and saw what was going on never had any intention of getting involved didn't you and uh didn't you? He would, okay maybe maybe slightly wanted to get involved <laughs> but i hadn't quite got up the nerve yet yeah and uh i, I walked over to I'm, I'm guessing it was his producer i don't know there was another there was there was james arnold taylor there was a cameraman and there was this other guy with a clipboard who I was, i'm going to call him the producer yeah. and i and i overheard him saying that he's pulling people out of out of the people walking past and asking them to ask questions and these questions would then be presented to guest stars during star wars weekends during the panels so i was like i've got to get in on this (laughs) so so um i i quickly walked away because i wasn't wearing a star wars t-shirt at the time because it wasn't star wars weekends it was before star wars weekends about a week before right so i ran off and bought a (laughs) t-shirt literally about (laughs) 20 yards away um ripped off my t-shirt in the middle of the park threw on this um yoda t-shirt yeah and uh and then tapped the guy on the shoulder and said i'd be up for asking a question so <laughs> he said oh, okay okay um you know looking at looking around me everyone else that was there was under 10 asking questions but he thought okay we'll give him a go <laughs> so so anyway the the five or six ten year olds had finally run out in the queue and then it came to me and uh I, you know, I, I, I said, oh, hello, James. It was a very pleasure to meet you, you know, yada, yada, yada. And uh, he said, hello, Martin, in Obi-Wan's voice, which, of course, was just awesome. Maybe, you know, I was like, yeah, oh, we a little yeah. bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was just like, hello there. Um, <laughs> and um, he he explained what was happening. He said, oh, well, we're going to do some questions now for Jeremy Bullock. And hmm. um, for those who don't know, Jeremy Bullock played Obi- um, Ben, Con- oh, my word. Bo- Boba Fett? Boba Fett. The original, yeah, Boba Fett. In the original trilogy. I'll take over. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. We need Adam to help me out with these things. Um, I'm still taken aback that Obi Wan Kenobi was talking to me. Yeah. Um, and uh, so he said, "Oh, you know, they're only jokey questions, um, but um, could you sort of ask, you know, ask it with a bit of enthusiasm? You know, this is going to be on on the stage. It's going to be hundreds of people in there." And I was like, "Yeah, sure, sure, sure." So um, he he took a, did a take, and I asked the question, and then the 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 producer said, oh, "Let's do another one," and he asked, the, he said, "Oh." Yada, yada yada martin have you got a question for jeremy so i asked the question again anyway the seventh time um <laughs> i'd done a take um the uh, cameraman and producer looked at each other and looked at james arnold taylor and said i think we can probably do something with that <laughs> and uh, I, I i was a bit taken aback i was like oh, i said we well, you know is there anything else i can do um and he said well can you can you try and be a bit more enthusiastic so i, I thought to myself okay i'm being english here aren't i um so I, I completely over the top was super enthusiastic when i asked the question for the eighth <laughs> time and i it's in, i'm so embarrassed um, i'm so embarrassed that was, that's the cut that made it right that's the cut that made it <laughs> and um, i think i think i might be able to uh slot the video in here <laughs> yeah it's on so youtube so <laughs> yeah thanks everybody for laughing but um <laughs> yeah so so basically i asked jeremy bullock the the question on the video and um look like a complete and utter idiot doing it at least i think so everyone else says it's fine oh, it's it, fine. it is fine it's fine it, it, no it's not <laughs> we got a video question for you would you mind taking a look at it and answer not it? At all. okay i think it'll be a fun one go ahead and roll that clip there okay jeremy we have a question for you it's very serious from martin martin go ahead 
Jeremy, after a day's shooting, what did it smell like on the inside of Boba Fett's helmet? Um, but it was only a, it's only a tiny bit cringy. It, yeah, only a tiny <laughs> bit. It's just a double thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, I mean, I just die every time I see it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 it's a funny story. And it was just funny how um, the producer and director and, and the cameraman, James Arnold Taylor, were just all like, yeah, I think we can do something That'll with do. this. <laughs> Let's get we someone else in all day. <laughs> yeah. um, But um, there's another podcast, which I'm going to plug, um, the famous podcast called Rebel Force Radio, where um, I wrote in and told them about this experience. Yeah. And uh, James Arnold Taylor was on the show, you see, that's why I did it. Oh, okay. And he remembered me and he assured me <laughs> on the podcast that I'd done fine and it was okay, but, um, so, which made me feel a little it's less very bad. polite. But, He's yeah, very he's very polite. polite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. so yeah, that That's that was cool. my um, foray into that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I I just love going to conventions, um, yeah. and I'm so gutted you you can't come to to the next one, and you've got to well, come to one because you know what? I'm I'm glad that you didn't get tickets as well. No, so I feel for you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just it's uh, like being. Go on. No, I was going to say, was, it's just like being in an extended family when yeah. you're there. It's, it's absolutely yeah. awesome. I was just going to say, I know like how important it is really for you to go. It's it's quite a big deal. Yeah, I mean, been, it would have been awesome. It's going to be weird. And I was going to get some, you know, try and get some video and stuff while I was there to put on the channel. So yeah. it is a real disappointment. But, you know, something else will come up in the future. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm it's sure not, I'm not going to be the last one, is it? So. No. I think I'm going to Galaxy's Edge again next year for May the fourth. So hopefully um, there'll yeah. be something cool going on there. Yeah, um, yeah, that'll be that'll sure be awesome. Will be. Yeah, but um, I mean, going going back to the early days of my Star Wars fandom, yeah. my first ever convention, and you worked this out earlier. I thought it was <laughs> in 1993, but it was actually in 1995. 95, still a long time ago. Still a long time ago. Um, and that was in a little place called Cheson, which is in Hertfordshire. And I, mm. I was meant to go with a friend and he was ill, so he couldn't make it. Um, and I haven't forgiven you, Tom, either. Um, <laughs> so I ended up jumping on the train at, at, as, as a 15 year old on my own yeah. going to Cheson um, mm. to this little town hall. Um, and it was tiny little thing, but it, it, it basically that's what I think sparked my love of going to these things because yeah. it, it was just couple of hundred people in there few stalls um boy do i wish i could go back who, who, time was, with, with them. who, who were the guest stars there do you remember yeah i think i mentioned some of them last week there was um bruce bower who played general reitkin there was warwick davis oh, this who is where you got the, the signatures yes that's from, where i got those uh, autographs i was telling you about, about in the last um, last episode yeah yeah um, but but yeah, I, I wish I could go back in time and uh, buy up all of the vintage Kenner figures that were on sale for probably thirty pounds or something. Well, you, yeah, but you would have gone on to sell them, <laughs> sell them to that yeah. one person in bulk. So no, no, no. I mean the original vintage um, yeah, the original figures original, from, right. from the eighties. Yeah, because um, oh, you kept they, those back ones. in. Yeah, well, no, really? I wish I'd had bought them. Is what I mean because I yeah, obviously yeah, didn't buy anything. You'd have like a couple, that. didn't you? You you have got a couple, haven't you? Oh, I've got some, but they're they're ones that I've bought sort of more Since. recently in the last ten years. Yeah, right. um, but you can imagine the prices they would have been in ninety five compared mm. to now. Yeah, yeah, would have yeah. been cheap. Yeah, they would have been a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, yeah, so I mean, for anyone who's listening who hasn't been to a Star Wars convention, you know, you've got to go. Um, yeah. And every, yeah, everyone I mean, who's got tickets for the next one, you know, lucky you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if, um, if you can't it. go for any reason, if you can't yeah. go for any reason, or, yeah. uh, you know, and you're, and you're looking to you know, offload some tickets, then Would you know, I'm sure I know a couple of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and drive, get new driver's license. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, I think that's yeah. all we've got time for today. So we'll wrap it up there. Uh, for all of you listening on Spotify and uh, Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts, you know, rate and review us. That'd be great. It all helps. Uh, anyone watching, you know, like and subscribe, follow us on Twitter. All of the information will be down below in the description. But for now, we'll see you next time. See you cool. later. Cheers. Bye. Bye.